little stick. It's in every backyard. And I don't know about you, but I get a bit tired of raking them up. If, however, you look at your sticks with fresh eyes, they can be the starting point for some beautiful and unique projects. Made for your garden, by your garden. Okay. So most orchids are epiphytes, so that means that they grow in tree branches or in the crevices of rocks. So they love an open hanging basket and that's exactly what we're going to create. So I've got a collection of sticks here that are all roughly the same shape and size. In fact, for this project, the most important thing is to have sticks of a similar depth. And what I'm going to do is drill some holes in each of the sticks at an equal distance apart. OK, so then it's just a matter of laying your sticks out to form a square and then layering those sticks on top of each other until you get that nice framework to form the basket. Now you'll know that you're at the right height when you can easily get one of these little beauties to slot in there. So now that you know roughly where you want everything to be, all you need to do is get some coated wire and thread it up through those holes to bring it all together. OK, so at this point, the basket needs a bottom. So I'm just going to glue on a flat piece of wood. You could even fix it with a couple of screws if you want. Then all we need to do twist off these wires so the wire doesn't pull back through again and then form some nice little ringlets on the other side for our hanger. Now that we've got our hanger in place, I'm just going to line the basket with a bit of coconut fibre. Then get some orchid potting mix in there which provides good aeration, good drainage and we're ready to hang our orchid. Just gorgeous. A teepee can be a great way to provide a support for climbers as well as maximise space in your garden. And if you choose the right materials, it can also be a real work of art. Now, what I've got here are tea tree stakes and they've been stripped of their bark. So you can see they're nice and gnarly and really rustic looking. So they're the perfect starting point. So I'm spacing these stakes in a circle so that there's roughly a metre diameter and then about 30 centimetres or so between each one. And where those poles meet at the centre, just secure them with a little bit of rope or twine to hold it all together. Now at this point, if you wanted this structure to be nice and sturdy, then you could fix some wood laterally around it and then repeat that pattern all the way up but I like to do it really simply by using something like this. So this is a coconut fibre rope. Looks fabulous. It's really rustic looking, dark coloured and really good for this type of work. To encourage the climbing tendrils on your plants to do their thing, you want to give them lots of things to hold on to. So I'm just creating about five or so rings of rope all the way up the teepee. I'm planting some cucumbers and zucchinis, and this is a great one. This is a little variety called patio snack, so it's a compact, high-yielding cucumber. Now, normally, cucumbers would sort of sprawl across the ground and take up a lot of space, so if you're wanting to make the most of your garden, then you can grow them vertically. All you need to do is plant them quite close to your poles or your climbing structure, and then just tie those tendrils in as the plant grows. To get these veggies really rocketing along, I'm going to give them a good dose of Charlie carp. Now, basically, it's a liquid fish fertiliser, but it's made using the whole European carp. So it contains all the nutrients, vitamins and minerals that your plants need to be healthy and really thrive. It's also really good for the health of your soils. And the omega-3 that's in the fish helps to build the immune system of your plants. It's also a good sort of smart environmental choice because not only are you feeding your plants naturally, but you're also helping to take a really destructive, invasive fish out of our waterways. Don't play, don't you if you're 
you've got a doll fence or wall to dress up, this is the perfect project. I'm going to create a rustic looking ladder for climbing plants. Now you'll need 10 sticks, roughly equal length, and two pieces of rope. You'll also need something to fasten them to. So I'm just using this old handle, just help to make the process easier and give you something to pull against. Leave your now this is bringing back my girl guide days because I'm going to do a little bit of knot work. Now those of you that are not nerds, this is called a marlin spike hitch knot. So basically what you do is you form a loop, you push that through, pull another loop through the circle, place your stick through there and pull tight. And we're just going to keep doing that on either side until we form a ladder. And the beautiful thing about this type of knot is that you can slip it up or down. So you can easily adjust it to get your spacing right. So I've spaced these rungs about 20 centimetres apart, but the wonderful thing about this project is you can make the ladder as long or short as you want. Now that we've got our ladder in place, it's time to find the perfect climbing plant. So this is called the Chinese star jasmine. It's evergreen. Throughout the summer, it produces sweetly scented white star-like flowers. It's a real winner. So we'll just tuck that nice and close. We can even start to help it to climb through. I think this is the perfect look for a coastal or country-style garden.